Today I'm showing how to make party favor baskets using the Greeteries Seagrass Basket and Botanicut's Lilacs. It's a very easy project to make and I've made it two separate ways. So I'll show you how to do that coming up next on Catherine Paper Art. Okay, today's feature is the newest spring release from the Greetery. And I will be using the Seagrass Basket and the Botanicut's Lilacs to make um, bridal shower gifts. And what that's going to entail is little baskets that will have little seed packets for the bridal shower guests. And um, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut some lilacs and get these colored, and then I'll be cutting the baskets. So I will be right back. Okay, so I've cut some lilacs and um, the die set gives you the basic um, flowers and then it gives you extra uh, petals that you can put on, but you don't have to. And um, but I did, I used them. And it also, um, it also, I don't know if you can see it, but it would be easier on the back. It also articulates the flowers on the background so that you can pop them up if you if you want, like this piece here. I don't know if you can see that. And so it gives it more dimension that way. And I'm also going to ink up the leaves and I'll, I'll continue doing that off camera and be right back. So what I like to do with um, my flowers and my stems, leaves rather, is use a, a flower shaping tool and some foam and uh, just, just um, to give the flowers some a little more dimension and um, augment the shape. So I just work the paper a bit and um, this just brings it to life a little bit more. The Seagrass Basket die set includes a label die or medallion die, let's say. But um, anyway, I used the All Occasion Script Sentiments to stamp out thank you, since these are for the guests of the bridal shower. And um, so I've cut out and colored the basket. And one thing I wanna point out is that one half of the basket has some score lines on it. And um, because you, when you, if you want to just make it for the card, you don't need to cut two pieces because you would just glue this section onto the card, and um, and then that's 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 all you need, plus your flowers or whatever you're going to fill it with. But to make a standing basket, you need to have two halves. So that's what I've got here and now you it has an assembly guide on the back and what you want to do is you want to thread the um, first half of the basket which is part A into part B and you want to do it all at the same time and these score lines I don't know if you can see those they're kind of hard to see I can hardly see them you just want to line them up with the um, pieces of the seagrass. It's a guide just to show you where it's going to, where the pieces are going to line up at, just so that it gets together, goes together in a straight, straight you know, pattern, whatever. Anyway, so I'll go ahead and it's not a hard thing to assemble. It really isn't. And um, I don't know if you if you watch the greetery um, video, you'll see that um, Betsy has colored hers like this, this rusty brown color. But here in New England, 
Our seagrass baskets are more of a blonde color. Of course, seagrass, there's umpteen different kinds of seagrass, and um, you can make your own in any way you want, but uh, here in New England, we know this color. Anyway, this is what I'm making mine as. The important thing to remember when you assemble this is to do it all at the same time. You don't want to do one and then try to thread thread the next one through. You want to thread them all in at the same time to make it easier on yourself. And if you have to scoot them down a little bit to make room for everybody, that's okay too. You just need to scoot them back when you are when you've got everyone in. Oops. So anyway, I will go ahead and finish this off screen and be right back. When you ink it up, you can see the score lines uh, much easier. So I am making one basket, and um, to make one basket, uh, a freestanding basket, you would really only need two pieces a front and a back, but because my basket is going to open, um, I, I don't want to see the, the inside of a basket, which is kind of mucky looking since I've inked it up. So what I'm going to do is back-to-back um, -back baskets, and that when they open up, you'll see the inside looks cohesive with the outside. And so what I'm going to do right now is uh, put the holes for the handles and I will locate that on one panel. And I'm going to do that based on the illustration on the back of the packaging, which is the, the guide, the assembly guide. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just mark one, and I happen to have a tiny hole punch that I will use to punch through all of these. And then they will all be in the same position. So I'll do that off camera, and I will be back. So I took a lightweight piece of chipboard and covered it with some matching paper to put on the inside and I've taken another sheet of paper, you can see the chipboard there, and inked it up to match, and I'm covering over that. And this is gonna form a base, a solid base. I could have gotten neater and covered over the inside there where it's white, but that's okay. This is just a little party favor, so I'm not gonna go all out on it, but um, here I'm just inking up to cover the end so people don't see that. There is a neater way of doing this, but uh, I didn't do that. So I'm going to cut off this excess, and I'm going to cut off this excess also as soon as the glue dries, because again, it's just covering the end here. And I'll be right back. So when you're finished, or when I'm finished, <laughs> now that I'm finished, this is how it looks on the inside and on the outside. So it's not perfect, but it's neat and tidy. And when it's all done, it will stand up. Um, so now I'm going to put the flowers on and a little Velcro closure at the top, but that will be after I get the flowers on and tie the ribbon on and put my little thank you medallion on. So I'll go ahead and, and get started with that and I'll be right back. So I have my flowers and I, I wanna point out that I colored them on the back sides also and because they will be visible and um, from both sides. So I, I want them to be presentable. So so it'll look nice because, as I said, they will be visible from both sides. So I'll go ahead and glue these in and get the others placed as well and be right back. So these are the finished baskets. And 
They came out very nice. They were quick and easy to make, really. And um, you'll see that uh, this is nice and tidy. It looks very complete, very um, put together with the uh, inside liner basket looking cohesive with the outside. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and the flowers being inked on both sides makes it uh, just a really nice really nice finished basket and it didn't take much more time than um, this basket which i added a liner basket to this side only but didn't ink it and i didn't ink the flowers um, really too much on the back side just a little bit but um, if you're it's short of time this is okay too they're both nice and um, quick and easy projects. So I hope you like this video. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up. And thank you for watching.